Wolf Park Now Diagnosis, Peppa Kiva here, and as you can tell on the title of the screen and what's in front of you right now, we are back with some more Undertale. Yes, that's right, we're back with more of this game. T Last time we went to Tim Timmy Village and it was. It was weird. Anyways, we're just gonna continue on with this. The elevator is in use. Really? By who? The elevator isn't working. Oh, fine, I guess. Never mind then. Let's just continue playing this game. Huh. I... I I'm just waiting for something to happen. Huh. Hmm. New home. What? What? The way it's blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. Keys are in the kitchen and in the hallway. I... It's a golden flower. Uh, there's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? I'm just gonna rob these people's ho things. <laughs> um, I I feel like I info fifteen says best friends forever. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? No, unless I want. No, I don't want to take it. No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 I'm not taking it. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take it. Best friends forever. Okay. Room under re renovations. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages says it is a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a trophy. Number one knows Nuzzle Champs 1980. Oh, 98. It's a beer room. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. It's a king-size bed. Despite everything, it's still you. It's a golden flower. It's two golden flowers. No, no, don't go in the... I... Don't... Azrael, the king's son, heard the humans call. He brought the human back to the castle. Huh. There's... There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. Their coals are still warm. It's a graving chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Over time, Hazrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. Their underground was full of hope. The 
You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy! Help yourself to anything you want! There's some white fur stuck in the drain. The fridge is full of unopened container snails. It's a stove top. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumbled up recipes for butterscotch pie. You unlock the key chain. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Then sick human... The sick human only had one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day... The next day... The human died. Azrael, racked in grief, absorbed the human soul. He's transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Azrael reacted the center of the village reached the center of the village. There he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried that human onto it. Suddenly screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But... Azrael did not fight back. The clutching, clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom, the kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King, King Asgore will, will give us, us hope. All. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. What's... does this just... Where does this lead me? Okay, so... <sighs> now this is working. Alright.
That explains why there's flowers everywhere. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. Together, you'll determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every e XP you've earned. What XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Point. A way of quanti quantifying the pains you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the more easier it is to become too distant. It becomes to distant yourself. The more you distant yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easy you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done every done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Truthfully, it doesn't matter what you said. All that's important to you is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave up to you. Oh god. I still regret killing Goat Mom. Every day that I remember that I didn't need to kill her just upsets me, honestly. I get sad. Not... Not like... I, it's just regret, and I really wish that I just didn't get impatient. Where am I going? Wait, I don't want to... I'll go to the throne, actually. Let me- let me go to the throne, cuz... dum de dum Oh, is somebody there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh! I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of cha of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. It's a throne. So, because of humans in this playthrough, he's lost pretty much two kids. His natural born son child human that fell down the hole and because of me his wife or ex-wife I don't 
no other relationships, or I guess it'd be more of an estranged wife, I don't know. All because of me. Well, not, not because of me, just because of humans. I'm... <sighs> My curiosity is going to get the better of me. I'm going to... I want to go down there and see what this area is about. Just out of curiosity. And if anything goes bad, I'll quickly load the save and... It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Amber. It's empty. Well, uh, uh, it's a little bit of uh, under. Okay. So, I just saw my own grave. <sighs> and we've been recording for 16 minutes. <sighs> Something tells me that this is going to be a long, probably sad episode. Did I read this already? Oh, just this throne room. Okay. This is going to be a long. Sad episode. Actually... What- how many things do I have? Info. <sighs> I'm probably gonna... Give me... tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. This was gonna be one weird visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. Alright. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I... Let's continue with this. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Yeah. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems like your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, fuck no! Oh, fuck no, I refuse to fucking fight you. Fuck you. Fuck. No, I'm not gonna fucking kill you. I don't want to fucking kill. I just... I don't want to kill anymore. I'm tired of it. Okay? I don't... I fucked up once. I'm not doing it again. Whoa. Oh. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna stick by what I say. I'm gonna do what I was supposed to do with Go Mom. I'm not gonna attack. I'm not gonna raise a single thing. I'm just gonna try to talk and dodge and try to live. 
That's what I'm gonna do. No one... I refuse to kill you. No matter what. But there was nothing to say. Damn, are you good at this? No. I'm gonna try to be cocky. But there's nothing to say. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Whew. Okay. Well, I did good on accident by panicking. <laughs> there's nothing to say. I'm sorry, I'm just so well, I'm dead. Oh, never mind. I'm I got out of their life. Blue, blue. I didn't move quick enough. Not just give up yet. Amber, stay determined. <sighs> okay. We're going to go back real quick. I... I wanted to keep up the drama, even though I... I knew, um that it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to beat him the way that I am now with yeah I just I don't I'm not equipped enough or anything I don't have enough food to heal me so we're just gonna go back and Maybe off screen. I'll. Off screen, I'll. Um... Wish my mind didn't blink. I'll get what I need and then we'll come back. Unless something weird happened. Like, it might happen. <laughs> In all honesty. There's some, some things that I'm curious about, though. Like,. I have a feeling um I know where the that just mysterious key leads. I just I don't know. What's up here? It's just an empty trash can, okay. Uh, this has been a, a quiet episode, hasn't it? If I run across here, will there be people who want to fight me? I don't know. I- I'm just... wandering. 
at this point. Just trying to figure out things I should have. I should have taken that worn out worn dagger actually. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going back. I want that worn dagger. I don't know if I'm going the right way, am I? Fuck. This is what happened last time! Uh, anyways, I'm gonna- I'm, Okay, now I'm gonna quickly go back to... His house and steal, um... Uh, the worn out dagger and sell it and sell it uh, this is I'm actually um my hand is really cold right now I don't know if it's the temperature of the house or if I'm just, just the chilling of all of this, and yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, there's a, there's a sm- Ah, oh, goddamn, the song, it just, it gets me for some reason, it just- <laughs> Now I see what this room was. Now I understand. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Oh god. There's a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a drawing of a golden flower. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever give up. Get up. Dusty toys. That would explain why there's golden flowers everywhere in the underground. That explains it all so much. I don't know if you guys can actually tell or not by um by my voice. Because I think I've sound almost like this throughout the entire episode, at least through the majority of it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to tears. <laughs> I'm a very sensitive person, <laughs> specifically, um, right now with all of this. <sighs> I I know I didn't say anything anything there but <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just I just got I just feel cold. And like <laughs> damn. I really wish I I really wish I was better at speaking and knowing words. But I don't, so here we go. And someone, who was my brother, who just entered the house, which scared me. Uh, how long have I been recording? For 29 minutes now. These episodes have been getting longer and longer. Uh, I feel like I went the wrong way. Oh, I did! God darn it. Oh, well. Alright. Well, guys. Can I just now? It's glued to the table. Okay. In the... In the next episode... The, ex the next episode might be the finale. I don't know. But, um, I'm gonna stop the episode here, because I'm just going to be running around trying to get the things I need. 
that I feel like I need. Because I, I don't care. I, I refuse to... I refuse to kill Asgore. Yeah. So, we're just gonna go. I'm just, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.